Hey everyone, meal planning can be a super daunting task, especially if you are on a budget. Have no fear, I'm here to help you with the tools, organization, and tactics you need to get the job done. I'm a mom of six great kids from rural Ontario, Canada, and I have been doing budget meal planning for years. And I have actually meal planned our way to financial freedom. So join me today for a crash course and some tangible free resources you can use on your own journey to help. Okay, things are getting real y'all. Food cost inflation is going through the roof. In this next year alone, it is estimated in my nation that food costs will go up 11% and that the average family of four will spend $15,000 on food each and every year. For my family of eight, that would mean we would have to spend $30,000 on our food. That is a full-time income and I certainly can't afford it and I'm guessing neither can most of you. So it's kind of batting down the hatches time. It is time to get real serious about budget meal planning for our families because there's no way like around this crisis. We're going to have to go through it and we're gonna to have to find a way to survive it without losing our livelihoods and our sanity. Have you guys ever heard Dave Ramsey talk about tackling financial debt? He uses the term gazelle-like intensity. He also talks a lot about beans and rice, rice and beans. And we all love you, Dave, but sometimes it's really hard to understand what does that exactly mean how does that practically play out in my life? And when you are the planner in your home, when you're the organizer, um, there is a lot of practical tools that you're going to have to learn to use to survive a financial crisis. And this video topic was requested by quite a number of my viewers because I think everyone's struggling with the same thing. They know what they have to do, they're just not exactly sure how to do it and they need ideas. So that is what I'm coming to you with today, a ton of budget meal ideas ideas, but also the tools that I use and that I hope will help you for planning budget meals. I even made up a super cute free printable that you can use. I'll tell you later how you can get that. And um, it's just going to help you organize everything week by week. But before we get too deep into this, I would love to have a question of the day. And my question of the day to you is, what is your personal favorite cheap meal to eat, okay? So I wanna know what it is. I want you to pop it in the comments below and share it with everyone who is watching this video. So we can kind of start a thread of cheap, inexpensive meal ideas. Because I'm gonna share with you guys a bunch of mine today, but maybe they're not everyone's cup of tea. And so let's all share with each other our ideas and just become a budget community. Okay, I'm in my basement outside the door to our freezer and preserves room because the first step to budget meal planning, it's the most important step, and that is to assess what you already have. So you're gonna check your fridge, your freezer, your pantry. What do you have that needs to be used up? The benefit to this is twofold. First of all, you're going to save money because you're not going to be buying that thing that you already have when you go to the grocery store. So you're not gonna have duplicates. And the second benefit is that you're not going to have food that is going to waste. This is a very common happening in many homes. Food rots, goes to waste, or goes past the expiry because we have failed to assess what we have each and every week and go through it and eat it. So always do this step first. I'm gonna take you with me as I do mine. Okay, so I am here in my echoey fruit cellar. Excuse the buzzing freezer sound. Nothing I can do about it, reality's of filming. Okay, so I'm gonna go through some things here and I'm gonna start actually with our meat freezer, okay? So you might not be able to tell, but this freezer is very full and I know exactly what is in these boxes and these are pork products. I have a whole ton of sausage that we bought as a school fundraiser for our kids for their playground fund and um, we need to eat some of this up. So this is definitely gonna be on my meal plan this week. But as I'm going through it, You'll notice we also have half a cow in here. We just got from friends who raise organic grass-fed beef. 
And so um, I know I have a lot of roasts in here. So that can go for like several meals um, when you make one roast. So I'm definitely gonna use those up. And if you can see hiding under here, this is a whole roasted chicken I've got under here and that's been in the freezer probably for about four or five months. So we need to use that up. And again, I can get several meals from that chicken. So I can roast it one day and we can have roast chicken. And then the extra chicken off of it, we could maybe make chicken salad wraps. And I can also cook down the bones to make soup. So that's a really good budget item in there that's gonna be on my list this week for meals. And we have two freezers. So my next freezer is right here. And in this is more so like fruits and vegetables, baked products. So let's take a look in there. Okay, buzz buzz goes the freezer. Okay, there's a few things I'm seeing right away. One is um, a bunch of currants from our current bushes. We can put these in pancakes for breakfast and they're nutritious and delicious. We've also got some apples. I could make apple crisp with these. And a whole ton of green beans from our garden this summer. And that's probably two meals worth of green beans right there in the vegetable department. I've also got tons of grated zucchini. So maybe I could make some homemade zucchini muffins for kids lunches this week. Also to assess is our canned goods. So I can tell you right now, I have several desserts sitting right here for the week that I'm not gonna have to buy at the grocery store. I've got applesauce, peaches, pears, stewed rhubarb. I have tons of garlic down here for any Italian cooking I'd like to do. I also have relish, pickles, pickled hot peppers. So these are all things I can be using this week. A key thing to remember when you are assessing what you already have is to write it down. So whether you are using a principle like mine and you're physically writing it in with a pencil or pen or whether you're digitally making a note on your phone of what you have, write it down so you don't forget. Let's see what I have in my pantry though. Okay, so as I'm going through, I see here right away that I do have um, lots of crackers. I've got potatoes, I've got rice. I'm pretty stocked up on the oils I need on onions. And then there's some extras in here I forgot about, like my husband's work gift basket. Um, we got some holiday pasta that we have not used up. The kids will think this is really fun this week. So um, I need to use this up. I forgot it was here. And then your refrigerator, of course. So um, how many apples do you have left in there? Because apples keep for several weeks. Do you really need more mayonnaise? Do you need more salad dressings or sauces or not? So I know in our home, if we run out of that sort of thing, we tend to then immediately put it on the grocery list so we know if we're out or not. But sometimes when I'm in the store, I kind of forget. And I'm like, ooh, do I have Worcestershire sauce or do I not? So just make a list, assess what you have, and let's go from there. Step two is the budget meals master list. Now, this is something that you only ever need to do once or maybe once every few years as your family grow and tastes change. What I want you to do is scour the internet, go on Pinterest, watch videos like these to get ideas for budget meals that your family actually likes. Now, budget meal, what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is it's only gonna cost a couple dollars per person. So high-end steak with all of the fancy fixings, probably not a budget meal. I like to just categorize things. So under beef, pork, seafood, meatless, turkey, chicken, um, just have a list of budget meals underneath each of those categories. So some that are popular around our house, loaded baked potatoes is very popular and that is a full meal in and of itself. Potatoes are super cheap. Homemade pancakes for breakfast, grilled cheese, beef barley soup or canned soups, tuna melts, Meatloaf and rice, spaghetti, chili and buns. I make a chicken broccoli biscuit bake that my kids adore. I will link the recipe video for that one. And then also list out what are some cheap side dishes. So maybe spinach salad's a little pricier depending on where you live and how much spinach costs, but like a romaine Caesar salad is pretty cheap for you. Green beans, frozen corn, carrots, these are all really cheap side dishes. And some of the more inexpensive fruits would be bananas, oranges, apples, canned fruits, frozen berries if they're on sale for smoothies. And then generally kind of whatever is in season tends to be cheapest, right? And then you might even wanna get even more specific. So whole carrots are cheaper than baby carrots. Green peppers, 
less expensive than red peppers. Yellow onions are gonna be less than white onions. So get to know your grocery store and what is the cheaper option. And oftentimes those two things, you know, those two varieties of vegetable are gonna have the same nutrients. They're just half the price. So get that master list made so we can go on to step three. So step three is where you're going to actually plug in all of your master list meal ideas, your breakfast, lunches, and suppers into a week's worth of meals. So on my principle, I have breakfast, lunch, and supper, but maybe that's too much for you. Maybe you wanna start small, just start with suppers, just start with budget suppers, okay? And then breakfast and lunch can just be kinda, you have the food on hand and you make what you feel like on the day of. But you can see here how I have plugged everything in. I figure out the main, the side dish, the dessert, which is usually a fruit of some sort, but sometimes some sweets. Like we have leftover Christmas cookies and Christmas candies, so you better believe that's going into my budget meal plan because they're in our house anyway, and then I don't have to buy as much for desserts. Make sure you're going for variety when you're plugging in your budget meals. So for suppers, I like to have a chicken, beef, pork, fish, meatless, and a leftovers day. So that's already six days where we're having something that's kind of a different protein every night of the week and a different side dish. And then always, always have an entire day devoted to leftovers so that you can use up everything you have. You're not spending any money on food that day and nothing is going to waste. And step four is to finally make your budget friendly grocery list. So hopefully, as you were doing your meal planning, you were working in all of those items you found around your house that you already have. So it could very well be that this week when you go for grocery shopping, you have hardly anything in your cart because you are using up so much of what you already have. So your budget grocery list is just kind of those essentials that you don't already have at home. So maybe this is like milk, bread, eggs, some of those basics that you have to buy on a regular basis. But what I like to do is when I'm making my budget grocery list, I'm also going through our local flyers. I'm going through my couponing collection. Um, I will link my couponing playlist for you if you'd like more advice and tips on how to coupon. I don't have time to go into that here, but I do save a lot of money by using coupons. And then that's gonna be written right beside everything on my budget grocery list what's on sale and where to get it. What coupon do I have for that item and how much off is it? So as you make your list, you're gonna have a pretty good idea of how much your groceries are gonna cost that week. And then when you go grocery shopping, stick to your list, stick to your list, stick to your list. That is the only way you're gonna truly have budget meals. And did you notice something about my meal plans for the week? Did you notice that not a single one of those meals is from a drive-through or a restaurant? Almost none of them are from a box or a can. So if you really wanna know how to budget meal plan and eat for very cheap for your family, you're gonna have to think outside the box or the can, if you will. I mean, obviously sometimes canned foods can be very cheap, but by far the biggest bang for your buck is gonna be that 10 pound bag of potatoes. It's gonna be that huge sack of oatmeal that lasts a month worth of breakfast for $2. It's going to be the homemade soup you made from your chicken bones and broth rather than a bunch of canned or boxed soup. So if you are not in the habit of being a home chef where you cook from scratch, if you really truly want to know how to budget meal plan and what my secret is for feeding my family for only $25 per person per week, it's cooking from scratch. It's not hard to do. There's so many instructional videos and recipes out there. I really encourage you to do some digging, to practice it, test it out, take a Sunday afternoon and make all your meals and freeze them for the week. If you're really serious about this, then you're gonna put in the effort to do it and it's going to pay off. My family will eat for only a fraction of what the stats are telling me it should cost for us to eat this year with inflation. So if you would like the printable I use today, it's just a free download. You can check the description box below my video and there's a link right there. You can just click it and download that PDF and then you can print it at home if you want 
or you can just have it digitally on one of your devices. I hope this was helpful to you guys, especially those of you who specifically asked for this video. I hope there were some good ideas for you here. And I also have some videos I'm gonna pop up right now that I think will also really help you in your journey towards budget meals and meal planning. So go ahead and find me there and I cannot wait to see you in the next video. For the least, this is Jen.